Hi guys, it's Amanda Snailer, aka Caitlin. So it's been a long time since you've seen me without glasses. So today I'm gonna be using the Jeffrey Star Times Morphe palette. Look at this beautiful thing. It's pink and it's lovely. So I did a pink look and you'll see that video before this one. So now today I'm going to do a neutral soft glam look. I always do a neutral soft glam look. But I want to test out millions before I do a green look. Because I know Glam Rapids, Wake and Bake, Nate, and Drive Through are calling my name. Alrighty. So... I'm going to do my whole face off camera. I'm kind of breaking out today and I see that, so there's no need to <laughs> let me know. <laughs> okay, I my skincare is good, so it'll be all good. I mean, I'm, I was on my time, so yeah, hopefully this should be going away soon. So yeah, I will be right back and then I'm going to do my whole face. I'm going to list all the products I used down below and same with the last video. Hello, so I did all of my base. Oh, let me set it really quick. I forgot to do that last time, so. Alright, we're just going to keep that there. <laughs> so, I already did my eye primer, so let's dig right into the video. So, I am going to take my round crease brush from the BH Cosmetics Rose Quartz set, and I'm going to dip into... <laughs> Let's dip into back, so it's that color right there. This will be a good shade in my crease today. So I'm going to pack that in. I still think this palette's very pigmented. It's looking a little pink on my camera, but it's all good. <laughs> Thank you, iPad, for just oh, maybe this might help a little bit. Nah, anyways, it's fine. <laughs> all right, so next we're going to go into. Maybe I should have went with 1985 in the first place. Well, we're just going to get into Mr. Diva, which is that shade right there. And see how it is. Alright, so, taking that on the same brush. Oh, okay. I think this will work. Alright, and then I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics number no. six blending brush in the rose quartz set. And I'm going to blend that out. Some of my blush or er, blushes, some of my brushes are clean because I cleaned them a few weeks ago and I probably should do it again. But they like take so long to dry it. It's kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well I definitely want to go into millions so we'll see how it looks. I don't know if I need to apply like concealer to use it. I mean let me look at it on my oh wow that is really pretty yeah i was afraid this was real glitter because it definitely is real glitter as you can see 
So I did not wear my contacts today, so we're going to see how it does on the eye. Oh, okay. This isn't bad at all. this okay hold on yeah it doesn't swatch very well as you can see however on the eyes it's really pretty oh my gosh all right so then next I'm going to take this oh no this pointed brush, this is the set my best friend got me for Christmas. So, today was fun because I went to go kind of see a school while the coronavirus is happening. Because my parents want me to go to a school called Parkside. And, I mean, by the looks of it, I kind of liked it. We have soccer. I don't play very many sports anymore. I used to do cheerleading and that was pretty much it. So I'm digging into Hi Dude, which is that dark brown shade right there. I'm just going to put this on my outer corner. And we're going to just wing it out a little bit. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me take that Rose Quartz Blending Brush. Oh, Uh-oh, sorry, my brush fell. <laughs> yeah, and I'm loving how million- Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm a mess. Okay, we're just gonna put these here. <laughs> I blend I did blend okay I'm like I don't think I blended my crease colors I think we're okay here <laughs> all right and then I'm gonna dip in one more time and then I'm gonna blend that out once again Alright, I think that looks pretty good. So, I'm going to do my eyeliner and... Oh, here, let's pick a shade to put in the inner corner. Alright, this is the BH Cosmetics number no. 9 brush. It's like a little detail brush and I use it for my inner corner. So, I think since we're going with kind of gold today, I'm going to go in with Designer Label, which is this color right there and I'm going to dip into that hopefully it's good enough to use in our inner corner here hmm. Hold on. Oh, okay there we go I think that showed up a little bit better all right so I'm going to do my other eye off camera and I'm probably also going to do lipstick off camera once again and I will once again talk to you about how I feel doing a neutral look today. So I will be right back. Alright, so I did my everything off camera. I know that this eye is a lot shorter than this eye with mascara, or not mascara, eyeliner. But, you know, I don't want to mess anything up because they both look really good, so we're just going to leave them as uneven, and that's fine. I mean, I'm not a professional, so, <laughs> yeah. So, I used my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the shade 
Eddie Sababwa, now I think they discontinued the shade in that, so you cannot buy it anymore. However, this is like one of my favorites, and I love it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So I'm just gonna spray my whole face once again. So. Hold on. <laughs> All right. I think that is good for today. Oh yeah, so here's this palette. I really like this palette. It's very versatile. And that million shade, it was so it's so pretty. I went a little too high on this eye, but it's fine. It's so pretty. Now it's kind of like it's a glitter, so it's chunky. But it kind of has like a sticky base, so it actually sticks onto your eyes. And I don't even think you need to put concealer down. I mean, you can if you want to like cut your crease, I guess, and use it. I think it's really pretty. And I also really enjoy these shimmers too, like Two and Designer Label. They're really pretty on the lid. And they're very creamy. And... Um, I think this palette's pretty easy to blend. Honestly, I haven't had any issues with it. And, like, they even give you, like, a true black. And then they give you kind of, like, a gray black, I would say. Or a dark gray. I think this is a really good palette. And I can't wait to use it some more. So, I don't know when I'll do a green look. Let me know if you would like to see a green look from this palette. Because, I mean, I'm sitting at my house and I have nothing better to do besides schoolwork. So, yeah. Alright. So, I will see you guys next time. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Alright, bye!